I thought about recording something fun and I'm going off of a suggestion that someone gave me the other day. Someone bought the 23 add-in planner templates and they asked me how can they make it their own, right? Like how can it change a page enough to still have the the essence of what it is but make it my own like your own colors your own graphics change a few things here and there that'll make it totally on brand for whatever project you're trying to do and I thought that is so fun like that sounds very very fun to me and I'm going to show you in case you haven't seen it before this is the add-in uh pages and i'll put a link so you can check them out but let's get into the fun stuff and i thought i would choose one of the easier pages because i don't want to make this video too long so this one right here which is the second page is uh today tasks kind of like a like a top three top five uh kind of page and this one it should be pretty easy to make your own, to edit in a way to make it your own. And well, first of all, make sure you made a copy of the master, right? I always tell you, this is the master, but I actually made a copy, see, copy of. And the actual master is, oh, that's not it. I click on the wrong thing, but anyway, <laughs> the actual master is saved and I'm editing a copy. So let's start with this right here. I like that, but let's say, I don't want that, I want something else. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to pick something different. See, immediately I see this and I like it. So I'm going to add it to my page, but I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to click here, I should make it, yeah. And I'm going to make it small enough. So I'm going to delete that one and now I'm going to start editing a little bit, maybe making it a little bit smaller and it looks more like a dot, but it has some texture to it. This one right here, I want to change the font. Let's start with that. So let's put here handwriting. Let me click on that one, handwriting. I don't quite love it, but just for the sake of the demo, <laughs> okay. That's right there. Is it bold? No, that's actually what it looks like. And I clicked, see I, I'm pulling here to make it bigger or smaller. I want to use, let me see, okay. And then, or you can use this, like you can click here and change the font size over here. Now let's do colors. I want to change that color. I want to make it black. Actually not black. Let's pick this very dark. It's like a purplish gray. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it's like a purplish gray. Now here, no, actually let's take this, this element that's behind the number. I want to change that. So let's go to elements put here circle and let's see what comes up okay I'm already liking this one I might use that one hmm you know what this one looks a bit messy and I'm liking it <laughs> okay so let me make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put it on top of this one just to make sure it's about the same size Okay, that kind of looks good. So let me move it over here. I'm going to change the color. I'll make it blue. And this one right here, delete. And this one right here, about right there. So I'm going to delete all of those circles. And the reason you can't see the numbers is because they're white. But as soon as you start adding the circles, and they have changed, it used to say duplicate, um, but now it looks here, there used to be a word here that says duplicate, you might see it in older videos, but now you just click on here and it'll do the same thing, it'll duplicate. Now here, I have put it over here, but you still can't see the number two because this 
element is on top of the number. So we're going to click on position backward and now it's placed behind the number two and you can see what it is. So again, let's click on this duplicate, put it over here, position backward. And one more time, duplicate over here, put it down a little bit, position backward. Okay, now I want to make sure that all of these, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit smaller. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, not that small. Let's go back. Okay, and I click the same thing again. Okay, here where it says 100, let's do 75 just so I can see it. And I'm going to select only the blue circles. And for that, I'm going to select this first one. Then I'm going to hold the shift key and then click on the other ones, position, and I'm going to click left and vertically. There we go. Perfect. Now let's say I want to make this a little bit less dark. Right now it's 45, that's the way it comes. If I bring it all the way to 100, that's what it looks like. I want to bring it to, let's say 26, right there. To do that, I'm going to click on all the other ones, type 26, and change that transparency to make it a little bit lighter. Do I want to change the color? I don't know. Mm, probably. Okay, actually that grayish, it looks good. Now let's say you want to add lines and adding lines on Canva can get a little bit tricky, but on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit the letter L and there you go. It adds a line. Now this is not as thin as I want it, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer. And I'm going to pull, see I'm going to pull right there, smaller. There we go, that's as thin as I want it. Then I'm going to position it here, pull over here, awesome. And then I'm going to put it probably right there. And then duplicate, put it right here. Again, duplicate, put it right here, and again, duplicate and put it right here. Now something that I like to do to make sure they're all in the same spot and aligned, I'm going to click on the element right here. I'm going to lock it so I it doesn't move and I don't select it. And then I'm going to select all of those lines at the same time. Position, I'm going to, here where it says vertically, I'm going to click on that to position them vertically. And that's about it. That looks good. So I'm going to select all of those lines together, group to make them one, and then um, duplicate. And then I'm going to pull them over here. And then they kind of snap together, right? And then that one, they're selected already. So I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to pull them here. There we go. And then again, duplicate and I'm going to pull them right here. And I think that looks pretty good. Let me go back. It's looking better, okay. Let me click on it. Uh, let's do 75 so I can see most of it. Okay, that looks good. And if you wanted to do any other decorative elements that you would want to put here, let me click on here. Let me click on uh, flower. Let's see what comes up. Something that might match. I actually like this one. But it doesn't match though. It doesn't look like messy enough. Okay, I think we have a winner. This one right here. And it is free. So let me make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to rotate by pulling this. I'm going to rotate because it looks kind of like it belongs in a little corner. Oh, I actually like this. Let me rotate a little bit more. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay. 
like that and i like the way it lingers over this but if you want it to make it a little bit smaller you can keep pulling it okay and then you bring it all the way to the edge there you go that kind of looks pretty okay and you could add something over here at the bottom you can keep adding elements or you know whatever you want I hope this was helpful and as always, if you have any questions, just let me know.